Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly accumulate wealth while others struggle to save? Well, the secret isn't buried in a hidden treasure chest or locked away in a vault. It's something far more simple, but equally powerful. Investing. Imagine, if you will, being back in seventh grade. You're given a weekly allowance for doing chores around the house. The more chores you do, the more money you earn. Now what if you could make that money work for you, just like you worked for it? What if instead of just sitting there, those dollars were out there doing chores of their own, earning you even more money? That's the magic of investing. You're essentially assigning chores to your money. The more money you put to work, the more it can earn for you. It's like having an army of dollar bills, all out there working tirelessly day and night, multiplying and growing. In this scenario, every dollar you invest is like a diligent worker. It's out there, rain or shine, doing its job, earning you more dollars. And those new dollars? They join the workforce too, continuing the cycle. It's a self-sustaining system of growth. But here's the kicker. Just like you can't earn an allowance without doing chores, you can't grow wealth without investing. If you're not putting your money to work, it's just sitting there, idle and unproductive. It's like having a chore that needs doing, but no one to do it. In essence, investing is a tool for wealth creation. It's not about getting rich quick or making a fortune overnight. It's about consistently putting your money to work, letting it grow and compound over time. It's about understanding the value of a dollar today versus a dollar tomorrow. So remember that seventh grade version of you doing chores for an allowance? Now imagine if those chores were investments and that allowance was your return. That's the power of investing. That's the secret to wealth. Just as you can't earn an allowance without doing chores, you can't grow wealth without investing. So how does one start investing? It's not as complicated as you might think. First off, let's talk about diversification. Imagine you're in a game where you have to guess the number on a die. Would you put all your bets on one number, say five? Probably not, because you know that the dice can land on any number from one to six. It's smarter to spread your bets across different numbers. That's diversification. In investing, it means spreading your money across different types of investments. So if one investment doesn't do well, others might, balancing things out. Now let's talk about long-term investing. Think about that video game you've been eyeing. You could spend your allowance now on candy and small toys. Or you could save it up for a few weeks and buy the game. That's the idea behind long-term investing. It's about resisting the temptation to spend your money right away. And instead, saving it for something bigger in the future. And finally, the power of compound interest. Imagine you put your allowance in a piggy bank. Over time, you'll have more money, but only as much as you've saved. Now, picture a different piggy bank, one that adds a little extra money to your savings every week. Over time, you'll have even more money, not just from your savings, but also from the extra that the piggy bank adds. That's compound interest, the extra money you earn on your savings over time. When investing, your money can earn interest, and then that interest can earn its own interest. Over time, this can lead to some serious growth. So there you have it. Diversification is about spreading your bets. Long-term investing is about patience and discipline. Compound interest is about earning extra money on your savings over time. Remember, investing is not about getting rich quick. It's about steady growth over time. Before you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, let's talk about why it's important to not put all your eggs in one basket. Let's imagine a seventh grader who's really into sports. He doesn't just focus on one sport, though. He plays basketball, soccer, and runs track. Why does he do this? Because each sport develops different skills and abilities, and by playing them all, he's becoming a more well-rounded athlete. This is similar to diversification in investing. By spreading your investments across different types of assets, industries, or regions, you're not relying on the success of just one. This way, if one area performs poorly, you're not left high and dry. Instead, you have other investments that may be performing well, balancing out your overall portfolio. Now, you're probably thinking, but what if I pick the wrong investments? That's a valid concern. But let's go back to our sports-loving seventh grader. What if he's not very good at basketball? 
Does that mean he should stop playing sports altogether? Of course not. He can still improve his skills in soccer and track. Similarly, even if some of your investments don't do well, others might. That's the beauty of diversification. But there's more to it than just reducing risk. Diversification can also potentially increase your returns. Think about our seventh grader again. By playing different sports, he's opening himself up to more opportunities. Maybe he'll discover he has a real talent for track and could even get a scholarship in the future. Similarly, by diversifying your investments, you're giving yourself the chance to benefit from different sectors or markets that might perform exceptionally well. So the next time you're considering your investment strategy, remember our seventh grader and his sports. Don't limit yourself to just one thing. Spread your investments around because, in the end, diversification can help you manage risk and increase your potential returns. Just as playing different sports makes you a better athlete, diversifying your investments makes you a better investor. Albert Einstein once said, Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. So, let's dive into this wonder, shall we? Imagine a small snowball at the top of a lengthy hill. It begins its journey downward, tiny and unassuming. But as it rolls along, it gathers more snow, growing not only in size, but in speed as well. That's the magic of compound interest. Now let's break it down further. Compound interest is the interest you earn not just on your original investment, but also on the interest that investment accumulates. In other words, it's interest on interest. And much like our snowball, the longer it has to roll down the hill, the bigger it gets. Here's a simple illustration. Let's say you invest $100 at an annual interest rate of 5%. After one year, you'd earn $5 in interest, bringing your total to $105. But here's where the magic happens. In the second year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $100. You're earning interest on the full $105. So, instead of another $5 in interest, you earn $5.25. This might not sound like much, but over time, these small amounts add up. Now, remember our snowball? The earlier it starts rolling, the more time it has to gather snow and speed. That's why starting to invest at an early age is so crucial. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to compound and grow. It's an effect that truly snowballs, gaining momentum as time goes on. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, remember the power of compound interest. Let your money roll like a snowball down a hill, gathering more and more as it goes. It's never too early to start investing. The sooner you start, the bigger your financial snowball can become. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in the world, once said, our favorite holding period is forever. Now that's a powerful statement, isn't it? It speaks volumes about the power of long-term investing. But what does it really mean, and why is it so important? Imagine you're a seventh grader and you've just planted a sapling in your backyard. Every day you water it, ensuring that it gets enough sunlight. However, despite your best efforts, the sapling doesn't transform into a towering tree overnight. It takes time. It takes patience. But as weeks turn into months and months into years, that tiny sapling grows into a sturdy tree, providing shade and bearing fruit. The same principle applies to long-term investing. When you invest, you're planting a financial seed. In the short term, you may not see much growth. The economy will have its good days and bad days, just like the weather changes from sunny to stormy. But if you're patient, if you hold on to your investments, you give them a chance to grow and weather the storms. Long-term investing allows you to ride out market fluctuations. The stock market can be volatile with prices rising and falling, sometimes dramatically. But over the long haul, the general trend has been upwards. If you're in it for the long run, you're less likely to panic and sell when prices drop and more likely to see your investments recover and grow. Moreover, long-term investing can lead to steady growth. It's like the slow, steady growth of the tree. Your wealth, much like the tree, doesn't just sprout up overnight. It grows over time thanks to the magic of compound interest. This is the process where the returns on your investments begin to earn their own returns. It's a slow process, but over time it can lead to significant wealth. Just as a tree takes time to grow, so does your wealth. 
Be patient and watch your investments grow. So, are you ready to start your journey towards financial freedom? Let's recap. We've learned the basics of investing, understood the importance of diversification, and marveled at the magic of compound interest. We've also discovered the immense power of long-term investing. These are your tools, your stepping stones on this road. And remember, as Robert Kiyosaki said, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. Start investing today and create a legacy for tomorrow.